T-style guitar from Jen and, and the gang at All In One Guitars. Man, I just changed strings, put 11 through 48s on there, the Ernie Ball Power Slinkies, tuned the pitch, and uh, man, just gonna have some fun. A little under the weather last couple days, had to cancel the show yesterday because I actually had no voice. And that uh, fortunately wasn't permanent for at least some people. That's a good thing, maybe. <laughs> My brother Darren from Guitar Everyone saved the day, man. Thank you so much for helping me with this pedal configuration. Something we're gonna talk about because I'm using an amp simulator in order to get the sounds correct and the level, the line levels correct to that Tone Master FR12. Something we're gonna talk about in a future video. And I've never used an amp simulation pedal before and was given one at, uh, ironically, just a couple weeks ago for my birthday. And it's a very inexpensive but incredible sounding pedal, the Joyo American pedal. I know everybody's familiar with them to some degree. And uh, when I put it into the effects chain of my pedals that I have here on the ground, I just was thinking more like an amplifier as opposed to where it should be located, and I made a mistake. But Brother Darren untied my mental shoelaces and I made some physical adjustments. We'll talk about that in an upcoming video. We're gonna do a little bit of Merle Travis meets Jerry Reed, or maybe the other way around. Jerry Reed meets a little Merle Travis. So I can take this for a spin, see how she's feeling. Right now that's coming through a Tone Master Super Reverb and the solo, when it goes time for me to start picking, I'll come through that TR-12, man. We'll see what that's gonna be like. So here we go.
was going i get to like normal get caught up in it boy and i'm it's good to feel good so number one thank you all for spending some precious time with me the aio t-style guitar ripping some some stuff man i want to tell you what fun this guitar is this is um extremely well made i love the the heft of it i love guitars of all uh weight sizes for me this one is so reminiscent more of the uh, kind of older vintage style guitars that had a little bit more heft to them and which i'm so used to because of the broadcaster man that, that thing weighs to me like it should the thing i'm not a, a big fan of is an extremely light guitar but you know listen to each his own as long as they sound and do what they need to do man i don't care if they are they weigh a ton or if it it's just a ton of feathers, right? And so, but listen to these tones, man. We're going to get into this uh, whole setup uh, here in the next next few videos. But one more time, my brother Darren, thank you for saving the day for me. I wish I'd been able to use this at that Gilbert's gig that we talked about, and we'll, I'll talk to you personally about that in a little bit. Didn't get a chance to do it uh, when you're on the couch trying to recoup. Well, I'll tell you what, that's just a, that's just what you have to do sometimes. And before we go, we want to share a beautiful day today here in the Florida Keys. And there you go. How about that? Mother Nature. Oh, she's beautiful today. I think I might get out there and do some coughing out there instead of in the house. God bless y'all. Thank y'all for watching. And don't forget, Jen and the gang at All in One Guitars. Man, fine, fine, fine. Can't believe the guitar and the quality for the price point. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. We'll be back doing this again. God bless y'all.